didn't want to meet him. He was in fear. He's like, man, let me appease him. Let me yeah. send over all the donkeys and the cows and all these gifts. Yeah. Let me send all this stuff over to him. And then he had a plan, and then he prayed. My Lord. Then Jacob said, oh, God of my father Abraham, uh -huh. our prayers are based on the covenant. His prayers were based on the covenant of his forefathers. Yeah. So our yeah. prayers are based on the covenant we have with our elder brother Jesus. Amen. So when we go into prayer, uh -huh. we go in not on our own merit, but on the merit of our elder brother Jesus yeah. and what he's already done. Uh -huh. So we get to come boldly before the throne of grace, yeah. where uh -huh. we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need and the time of trouble. That's uh -huh. good news. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. And those generations that have gone before him. Um, he prayed in humility. He didn't come, you know, like, oh, God, right now I'm coming to all the power and the glory and right now and demanding. He came in humility. God, I know I'm a wretch of God. Right. Uh, I know I'm messed up, God. Mm -hmm. He came with the spirit of humility. Yeah. Amen. And we've got to get back to where we're coming to God and communicating to God with humility. Yeah. I thought this was so amazing. Because I feel like we lost that somewhere. Yeah. My God, I feel like we lost that somewhere, that humility that comes to God that says, I don't deserve this. My God. I don't deserve this grace. I don't deserve for somebody to lean in towards me and have a tendency to bless me my with God. all the wrong I've done. Yeah. And the many times that I've turned my back on you and I've disobeyed you, but you just, I'm everybody crossing over. It's my season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to prepare. Yeah. What it is God have for you. He needs to dig way down that foundation because he knows how high he wants to build up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a praise for that. Hallelujah. So here he is in his place of aloneness. He sent everything over. How many know sometimes we have a hard time sending everything over? Yeah. We don't want to release some things. We don't want to let go of some things. That's right. I remember times in my prayer and I said, God, I'm giving this to you. Take this away from me. I've got to send this stuff on over. I've got to get this stuff off of me, Lord. I need to meet with you here, God. And I cannot have none of this stuff on me, Lord. I got to give it to you, Jesus. Right. I got it. That's the place he was in. All these things that happened with him and Laban and uh, this trickery and deceit and all these yeah, different yeah. things. And now here he is alone. Yeah. Amen. Anybody ever been in that place? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You want other people to understand, but they just can't understand yeah. mm -hmm. where you are. Only God. And God set it up that way. Yeah. He'll give you a few yeah. little people around you. Mm -hmm. He'll throw you a lifeline. Mm -hmm. Just right, right before you yeah. crumble. Yeah. So I just thought about that, and I thought about how they crossed over the Red Sea and what that represents. It points to the substitution, substitutionary uh, death and positional identification of us as believers, Christ's death and resurrection. I thought about the wilderness and how that's the revelation of our need of God, the experiential identification with Christ and his death and the resurrection. Then the Jordan points to the practical application of deliverance. The Red Sea is what God did for the children of Israel. 
Jordan is what God did in them. They were finally out of Egypt. And, and the Holy Spirit kept bringing me back to this. He said, sometimes my people get out of Egypt, but Egypt don't get out of them. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. I know that's right. Jordan lived out is symbolic of having the knowledge of the word of God and application. We know Jesus was baptized in the Jordan. is where his ministry began by the spirit of the Lord. And then he was sent off into the wilderness mm -hmm. where he was able to say, you know what? This is about God. Yes. Um, and it's about every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's right. Yes. In order to cross out of captivity, we must apply the finished works of Christ. We must apply the cross. Yes. The crossing represents all the Bible teaching we've gotten up to this point, all the reading. We are to become what we read about. Crossing over teaches us to know the word of God, the power of God, the power of resurrection. Once they hit the promised land, they came into Gilgal, which represented the circumcision, which represents them now being the people of the spirit. Now here we are. I just thought about all that and I researched it out and I was like, here he is at Jabbok. Now it's an emptying out. Now it's a pouring out. And this stream actually poured into the Jordan. It means evacuation, dissipation, wrestling, a place of passing over. Jabbok is the place where Jacob wrestled with the Lord yes. to get rid of his setting sins. Mm -hmm. this, this here was one of my answers for my own life. Lord, these things I have a tendency to. I'm not running around murdering somebody, but these little small foxes that destroy the mind. Right, God, right. this yeah. place of Jabbok, God yeah. gets rid of the besetting sins that we have a tendency to lean towards to. That they're not necessarily, you know, I'm not raping or killing yeah. or, you know, stabbing somebody. My but God. why did you do that again? Yeah. Mm. You told them off again. My yeah. God. You can pay that again. My God. Uh, why, oh, why did you God. say that again? Mm. The besetting sins. Yeah. And so this is where he deals with that. It's a fault to which someone is especially prone, a characteristic, characteristic of weakness. Beset uh -huh. means to surround with hostile intent. Yes. Yeah. So these besetting sins are not huge, but they come to kill you. Yeah. Oh my God. They come to stall your yeah. progress. Yeah. They yeah. come to hold you up. Yeah. My God. So we have to avoid these situations because they're dangerous. They're rooted in the love of self. Remember, I talked about that earlier, that self realizing mm -hmm. They hurt others. Our besetting sins hurt other people. Yeah. How I know it didn't bother. It didn't hurt nobody. Right. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, it did. Yeah. I yeah. have a dagger right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, we make excuses for them instead of confessing and forsaking them. And most of all, it dishonors a holy God. Right. Jabbok is a place where um, we cast down our idols. It's a place when we're in a life and death crisis, a place that leads to absolute surrender. My God. Mm -hmm. This is where Jacob was. Um, let me finish reading this a little bit. Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. We know this was a theophany mm -hmm. of Christ. Here he is wrestling uh, with the Lord. Um, now, when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip. Yeah. And the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. Mm. I kept trying to identify God. Um, well, what is this going on in my life? It's a wrestling. Yeah. It's a wrestling. Yeah, yeah. You know, this uncertain place that looks like, you know, I'm moving, but I'm not really making the progress I want to uh -huh. make. Right, it's a right. wrestling. I'm, I'm a wrestling you. But I like Jacob here because he just didn't give up. Uh -huh. He just yeah. didn't let go. Uh -huh. and then he said, no, I know I'm a mess. Yeah. yeah. Mm. My God, I'm not going to let you go. I see many people just say, forget it. I'm walking away. I tell you that Jacob boy, he was holding on to God. God, you know, I'm not gonna let you go. I know I'm a mess. I know I'm not. I know I'm stuck. But God, I know you are Lord, and I am not gonna let you go. Trust me, God.
Right. And you say, now God, not only do you know, I know. Yes. And so a lot of times we live in the cloud. I'm okay, I'm good. No, you're not good. You ain't good. We ain't good. We don't be good. I know that's poor English, but hey. We need to get to a place where we are wrestling with God. And we don't cast away our confidence. Because we realize it's only God that can take us to that next place. Uh-huh. Jacob had to get back to Canaan. He promised God in Bethlehem. Yes. Well, I'm going to serve you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Yes. Then he fooled around and got to Shechem. A whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. Yes. God said, you need to get to Canaan. Get there. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Come on now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But we can only get to our designated places when we hold on to God. Yes. And we don't die in that place of wrestling My with God. him. Amen. 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 So you can look the part. Uh, I yeah. say, God, I don't want to look the part no more. Yeah. I'm, I'm done with that. Uh, and if you can't handle me like that in the way of what the work of God is doing in me right now, uh, I can, maybe you're not in my circle. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Amen. You know who's in your circle when they can accept you for who you are. Amen. Yeah. Hear me a point blank. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. 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 When they can accept you like that, okay. They can be part of your circle. But when they expect you to put on airs because they're putting on airs, they want you to be hard because they're hard. Uh -huh. That's not your friend. My God. No. So he changed his name. He said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, meaning Prince of God. Yes. And I, I brought the book because I was going to read something. I, I wrote a piece about how princes carry out what the nature of a prince is like. Mm -hmm. But I'll forfeit that this time. Um, and so he said, you have struggled with God and with men. Mm -hmm. Right. And with men. Wow. You not only struggle with me, you have some hard stuff to deal with. Yeah. You have some hard stuff with mama to deal with, with daddy to deal with, mm -hmm. with whoever to deal with. You have some situations in the church maybe that you, you struggle with men. Mm -hmm. You know, they just getting on your last nerve and you're trying to stay in the spirit and do the right thing. You, you, you're struggling. Yes. God is making uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. yeah. How else are you going to learn? You, uh -huh. go, you have to have relationships with yeah. people. To, he created us for relationships. Yes. But he said you struggle with God and you struggle with men. He had been struggling with Laban all that time. Yeah. Look at now I can change mm -hmm. your name. Yeah. Now the besetting sin is gone. Yes. So he said you struggle with God and with men and have prevailed. It means Israel uh, means God rules and prince of God. Then Jacob asked, saying, tell me your name, I pray. And he said, why are you asking about my name? Mm. Right, right. Mm. Why are you asking about my name? And I just thought, like, well, Lord, why didn't you want him? You're off with Jacob. Uh, yeah. you, you, you changed my life. I was strong with you. I've had this in common. What's your name? Mm. It keeps me seeking. Yeah. It keeps me seeking. Yeah. Keeps me going. Keeps me Mm -hmm. and, and I believe Jacob knew who it was yeah. because when he first came to the to the fort, he saw two angels. Yes. Yeah. And he said, "This is God's place." That's right. Yeah. So he knew something was going to happen. But he said, he went on to say, "Why is it that you ask about my name?" And he blessed him there. Mm -hmm. Where about your own name? <laughs> right. Your life. What's going on with you? Yeah. Not everyone else mm. with you. Your mm. name has now been changed. A name is something in their culture. You represented what your name was. Yeah. So he was no longer Jacob the heel grabber, the conniver. He was Israel, where God ruled. He was a prince of God. Mm -hmm. He switched and changed his name. Yes. I believe God is changing our name today. My God. Amen. In different areas where we wrestle, we struggle with. Amen. Amen. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. My but God. God is changing our name. Oh, yes. He's removing the blemishes, the spots, the wrinkles. He's dealing with us. He's dealing with his church and his body where we need to be dealt with. Amen. Not where we want to be dealt uh -huh. with, but so right. where we need to be dealt with. Yes. So he can take that stuff out. Yeah. Change our name and we can walk as we us to walk in. Uh -huh. Amen. So Jacob called the name of that place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, yes. and my life is preserved. Mm -hmm. Just as he crossed over to Penuel, the sun rose on him, and he limped 
on his hip. Yes. The nips on his hip. My God. When I start asking God about this message, I was like, God, what you want to talk about? He said, nip on. Mm -hmm. uh, nip on. I got it. Just nip on. Amen. I got it. A lot of times we don't want, want people to see, Elder, our lip, our transparency of what we've gone through. Right. I got it. He said, just limp on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? You got me. Yeah, hallelujah. You had an experience and encounter with me that nobody can take from you. My God. I don't care what they say. I don't uh -huh. care what they yeah. just yeah. limp on. Mm -hmm. Right, right. right. Limp on. Yeah. Yeah. When they see you coming yeah, with the lift, yeah. they'll know that yeah, she had an experience with me because only God can do a surgery where he don't got to knock you out. My God, hallelujah. My God. Just one experience with him can change us forever. Yeah. My God. I believe in my life. I believe in our lives. We're going to experience God if we've not already experienced him. Mm -hmm. But he's going to create a place in us. That even if we try to get the big hand. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I say nothing else? Uh, I got That's it. right. That's uh, right. Can I say nothing else? Yeah. Well, I got it. I'm going to live on. We preach. God, he's great. He's mighty. He's awesome.